there because one of the biggest challenges facing the government is getting many people off long-term benefits and into employment. Today we hear from the Sheffield businesswoman who quit her role as the so-called back-to-work czar following criticism of her success rate. Emma Harrison has defended her company's record despite claims that only 4% of clients managed to secure a permanent job. She's been speaking to James Vincent. It got so bad. Emma Harrison founded a in 1991. She stepped down as its chairman in February this year. The newspaper headlines were so wrong and so inflammatory that they were using the word fraud everywhere. One of my children, well, my two children who were at school at that time said, someone said to them, are you going to visit your mum in prison? She's the millionaire who says she's been bullied out of her job. She's been doing her first interviews this week since leaving, but she still owns most of the company. My company was accused of fraud. It's been proved not to be true, but people just kept saying it, you know. Um, people were wrong about my company. They were wrong about me. And for the first time, um, it took a lot of nerve. I stood up to the bullies. A4E started as a small office in Sheffield helping steel workers get back into work. Now it's the employment giant that's enthralled ministers from both sides of the house and secured valuable government contracts, most notably this government scheme to get people a job. The work programme started in June last year. 18 organisations took on the job of trying to get people back into work and they're getting paid for it. The majority of the contracts went to big private companies like A4E and we won't know exactly how well they've done until the Department of Work and Pensions releases figures later this year. Reports this week claim the company's success rate is under 4% and earlier this year MPs were concerned about how many people were getting jobs and how much public money was going to the company. The MPs are saying this company is being paid but failing to do what it's contracted to do and the woman in charge seems to have taken a huge personal payment and I think now ministers need to get to the bottom of this and explain to people what on earth is going on. For us to actually get paid, right, for us to actually get paid, they have to have stay in work for six months or more. So when people keep quoting these figures and we're 18 months into a programme where people are starting every day that's why the numbers that people are quoting aren't meaningful. I don't think we will truly understand the nature of the work that we're doing. It's early days for the work programme. It's a five-year project, but plenty of people, including A4E's majority shareholder, will be keen to see those first-year job figures when they're finally made public. Craig Whitt, if I, if I come to you first, many would say A4E's record is hardly a ringing endorsement of the government's work programme. What do you say? Well, you know, like all these uh, projects, whether it's a private company or a public company, what is important is actually they, they get paid for what they deliver, uh, which A4E is exactly the same. It's payment by results, and we will find out at some point this year. Uh, but, but if these figures are correct, and they've only, now A4E disputes these figures, but if they have only delivered 4% of job seekers into work, yeah. I mean, that's just throwing good money after bad, isn't it? Well, if, uh, you're absolutely right. If they are, I mean, we will see later on in the year what the results of that company and all 18 companies or 16 companies that have undertaken the work uh, are producing. And if, if, if they're not hitting the targets in the contract, then, you know, there will be penalty clauses in that contract as well. They will not get, get paid for work that they haven't delivered. Fabian Hamilton, do, they, yeah, do these kind of payment by result schemes work? They were pioneered under new labour. Yes, and I think they were wrong then and they're wrong now, frankly. I do not understand why we have to pay private companies that have to return a profit to their shareholders to do these schemes, carry them out, and they're clearly not carrying them out well enough. The figures should be published now. I don't think we should have to wait any longer because they're clearly not working. 3.65% was the result that I heard uh, that A4E returned, managed to get people back into work. And why does the chief executive of that company have to take eight million pounds out of that company? Now, obviously, what the company does, it's a private company, is up to them. But they're doing this with taxpayers' money, and I think it's wrong. So how would you get more people back into work? Well, I would ensure that we trained our civil servants 
servants, the people that are employed by the taxpayer to deliver these schemes, I would ensure that they were properly trained so that they had the facility and the ability to get people back to work. It's perfectly possible and feasible, and they don't have to make a profit. Uh, you see, that's, that's the problem, though, isn't it, Fabian? Why? Because if, if we train civil servants and, and the public sector to do it and they don't deliver, we'd never have the facility to, well, to change what they do. They're accountable to Parliament. Well, they're they accountable are accountable to, to Parliament, but we've seen time and time again over history how poorly we do things sometimes, well, sometimes in, in the public sector. In this you don't case, have people going away with eight million pounds, though. Well, maybe you? you don't, but I mean, they will be paid on the results that they give, and I think that's incredibly important. That uh, you know, we have accountability for the money well, we spend as government. The results. If aren't it good comes enough. in public house, uh, then then we don't have that facility. That's well, I think we do because those people are accountable to members of Parliament through the government directly to the House of Commons, through the Select Committee system and directly to the House. That's the accountability I want to see, not through the shareholder. Of course, many would say these kinds of schemes are no substitute for real growth right. and real job Absolutely. creation, would they? Absolutely. Yeah, you would we, agree with that? We, yes. Well, we need economic growth. We need fiscal stimulus to the economy, as uh, our Treasury team has outlined and, and put down on the table to George Osborne. This but, shouldn't but, be a party but, political no, issue. No, but come on. This is about stimulating the How economy. How on earth can George Osborne take advice from people like Ed Balls, oh. who've, who, what we do have well, from Ed Balls is we have a record, 13-year record, of yeah. how good he is. At, Generally uh, a pretty good that. record until the end. Well, <laughs> and, and the economy is in a worse state the now than it was a very good shape until it sank. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> uh, no, the, the economy so, so, is in a better state in 2010 than it is now. Uh, well, well, I think the, that's generally acknowledged. Well, the debt has gone up, not, got, not gone down. Yeah, but none I of mean, the rate it was going up. If we'd have stuck to Ed Balls' plans, we would be in a but, worse mile. But Craig, we're, we're, we're in a second recession. It's a double-dip recession. Now, thankfully, the figures look a lot better, but is it the Olympics effect? I don't know. Well, Let's wait and see. All I'm saying is we, ha we have the Labour record of uh, how to manage an well, economy, let's not, let's and, not and most, of pe most of the people in this country don't want to see that again. Well, let's not forget that for most of the time we're in office, we had a very good record on the economy. Uh, yeah, and we did extremely well. People, at government spending people were pretty and well at borrowing well, as let's, well. Let's not pick over the past. Yeah. Let's move on to another okay. big talking point at the moment. Because you may have not realised this, but there are just 18 days to go 